Hi. Did you guys love that movie? Thank you. It's actually, uh, because I'm a juror, it's my second time seeing it. I saw it a few months ago and really enjoyed it. I think I kind of took it at face level and concentrated on the magic. And, and this time I really saw it kind of from a different angle. And just there is a lot of depth to this movie. I think there's a lot, it has a lot to say about um, teenagers and ambition and drive and society and parenting. And um, I urge you all to see it again in the future if you can and, and, and maybe... Um, See, or maybe you saw all of that today. Um, you know what, I'm going to start with a couple technical questions about the filmmaking. So how did the filmmakers, did they shoot all 15 performers and then cherry pick you guys because you became the top eight? No, I think they were looking at, I mean, they looked at a lot of, they, have, they followed about 20 people altogether. Mm -hmm. um, but I think we were the ones who really stood out just in terms of really having such a strong passion and ambition and um, and told the story on screen really well, just kind of as Stephen Klein, the producer, says that we just sort of jumped off the screen. Mm -hmm. I think they, as Stephen Klein would say, and uh, the filmmakers Clay Twill and Stephen Klein regret not being here, but he got married last night. Oh, um, the so director Clay he gets did. he gets a free pass. Um, but the way they said is they wanted to do. A documentary in the realm of magic but they weren't sure what it is so they went to Tannen's magic store in New York which is this huge big deal and it's like the Walmart of magic <laughs> and um, they they saw these kids adolescents who were just like they you know I am I'm Derek and I would like to. and then they go backstage or they go back in the behind the counters and they start turning into this wonderful performers so they saw that they had something there, and so they started following. Like they started following Kristen in the junior program at the Magic Castle first. And then when I came to Las Vegas for the competition, they came with me. They have about six hours of me rambling while in the car, um, and and then that's where they met Derek and Hiroki and and everyone else who they followed. Um, Kristen, is it hard for you to watch the movie? I feel like you're kind of the fall guy. I feel like you're kind of the you know they're like. You sort of get this feeling like from when Diane Zimmerman is like, oh, you're the star, you're this, you're that, and and then you don't win. And it's sort of like, I don't know, I well, kind of almost feel me, like you got set up in that movie. Does it? Does well, it there are a couple, a couple things. First of all, I mean, of course they had to take some artistic license. In the, I mean, I still got to the finals. In the actual, you know, they slowed this down. They, they changed the music during that moment, so it was very highlighted. But yeah. during the performance, it was a drop. I overcame it, I mean, again, because I made it to the finals, so it wasn't that present, but I knew how it was supposed to go, and I clearly was very bothered about it, and so that's kind of where that they were able to capitalize on that. And I think it also really shows, again, more than anything, how even though things don't always go as you have them planned, you know, you can still be resilient, and you can still come out of that successfully. Mm -hmm. And so I think more than anything that this shows that you still need to pursue your passions you know, it's, it's a small, you know, having a ball drop on screen is a small price to pay for the overall powerful effect that the film has. And <laughs> to add to Kristen, I think the way they did that was, the reason they did that was a great showing of, you know, stuff's going to happen in life, but it's how you're going to handle it and take care of it is what's important. Um, do you think that people drawn to magic are secretive by nature? Uh, you know, I think, I think again, because magic is a solitary, uh, you know, you're spending six hours a day by yourself working on things. And so I think it definitely attracts people who are more inward because it's not, it's not social. You know, until you're performing and engaging with your audience. And even then, you know, it's not a team sport in the same way where you have that camaraderie. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's why the World Magic Seminar team group is so amazing because once a year you get to come together and totally just geek out with magic and be like, oh my gosh, you know what I'm going through. She said what I was gonna say. <laughs> Derek, are you and Hiroki still friends? We are still friends. He's now 22. I am the baby of the bunch and the only teen left. <laughs> So that means you can win this year, right? That and I am the only one who isn't old. Um, <laughs> wow, Derek, you got it. But 
but uh, Hiroki and I are very good friends. Right now, he is, I believe in uh, Korea, performing. He's performing all over the world right now. He's just a little rock star. He's a Asian. <laughs> Hello everybody, I am Derek, I got a haircut since the last time you saw me, and I need everybody to pull out a cell phone. Does anybody have a cell phone on them? Yes. Perfect. What's your name? I'm Carrie. Carrie, will you please come up here with me? No. Yeah. You know you want it. Everybody, round of applause for Carrie. Alright, we've got the camera following me. Alright, now Carrie, you have a phone. I have a phone. Okay, and I have a phone. It is the 21st century. Um, we're gonna do, we're gonna call. I have a friend in LA who's a psychic. Okay, okay. so um, her name's Kristen right here. Okay, okay. and um, we're gonna pick something. Okay, to try to trip Kristen. Okay, not that Kristen. It's another Kristen. Don't worry. <laughs> um, what's your name? Yeah, Tammy. Will you please just name a card? To everybody. everybody. The ace of what? Hearts? Okay, now pull out your cons or your uh, phone. We're going to call this number. On your phone. Okay. 1-818-850-1452. <laughs> and call it and put it on speakerphone. Here, press call. We'll find it. Don't worry. That, that, that one, that one. There you go. Where's the speaker on this thing? Everybody, please give a round of applause. I'm Derek McKee. Thank you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Kristen Lambert. or that we can't predict or control. And as you saw from the documentary, I am uh, very much into precision. Uh, precision, which is um, to be precise. <laughs> precise, which is to be definite, highly accurate. And so I think it can be really frustrating when we're confronted with these things that we can't explain or that seem so random. Random which is lacking definite method. Definite is the definition of precise. So you see this, this tension here. And even if you're not as intense, we can just say, as I am, you feel this sort of uneasiness. And so I'd like to present a challenge to myself and also to what can be seen as cosmic randomness. Okay? Now, we've never met before, have we? Yeah, what's your name? Mark. Mark, I'm going to hand you this dictionary, okay? You, you can stay right where you are. And uh, just so we have a, a placement, so we know that I'm talking to you. You don't have to look at the dictionary, because I've got a postcard here of Los Angeles. This is where I'm from. And I'd like you just to picture any city. Let's see if I can't get it back here. Um, I'd like you to picture any city, okay? Just like in a little postcard-type space right here. Okay, just, just picture that. Any city. Don't tell me what it is. But just picture it. You got it? Oh, yeah, you do. Yeah. Okay, I'm ready. Oh. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I'm actually on track. Okay. So, please, 
Derek, would you come? Oh, my lovely assistant, Derek, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so please, um, so you've been thinking of that, of that city. I got a definite impression. You were thinking of the city you were thinking of was Boston. Boston. Okay, pass the dictionary to someone else. All right, pass the dictionary to someone who you don't know. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna need the, the pen on that. So, who did you pass that to? And what's your name? Hannah. Hannah, okay. Hannah, we're gonna go for something a little bit more personal here. I'd like you all to think of the name of a friend, okay, Hannah? And um, just, just think of the name of a friend, okay? Let's see. Oh. Okay. Um, wait a minute. Were you also thinking of the name of a friend? Were you? Yeah? Yeah? Were you thinking of the name of You were. Okay, well, please stop, because you're, you're getting away of Hannah's friend's name here. Hannah, would you please refocus? Refocus on the name of the friend, okay? All right, you got it? Oh, wait, hang on. Let me get rid of that other one that's not right. Um, okay, cool. There we okay. Clear impression there. All right, Hannah, you've been thinking of the name of this friend. We finally got a clear impression, and the name of that friend was... Renee. Okay, Hannah, pass the dictionary to someone else. <laughs> All right? Someone who you don't know. Okay? You know, would you mind coming up to the front of the stage here? Right up here? You don't have to come on stage, but just right up where there's more light and where other people might not uh, interfere. All right, I'll take the pen, thank you. Um, and I want you to look through the dictionary and just you can say right there, just look through the dictionary and make sure that there is in fact a different word on every page, that it's not, nothing funky, so just thumb every single page, thumb through. Now you, Hannah was thinking of Renee. What are you thinking of? Yeah. Hey. 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 What? Cayenne. Hey. Hey. Oh, okay. Anyway, so you are looking through the dictionary and it is in fact completely normal. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna try to get something with the unconscious, the subconscious here. All right? So I want you to hold the dictionary between your hands, and I want you to inhale, and when you exhale, I want you to clear your mind. I want you to think of nothing. Inhale, and exhale. Ooh, very clear impression. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm here, Derek, you just take this pen all together. I'm going to just close this book up Yes. Okay. Thank you. Now, if you'll hand me the dictionary, we're going to try something interesting here. Um, I am just going to um, thumb through, and I want you to tell me stop. And the page that you choose is the page that we'll use. Okay? Stop. Right here? Right there. You're content with... You can change your mind if you want. You're fine? Okay. Um, hang on a second. I'm going to show you guys. Just, not you, but I'm going to show you guys. Come on, here's a word I think that she chose. Kind of an interesting, interesting word there. Okay, would you, um, now, I'm going to uh, show you the page that you chose, and please, would you read off that top word that you chose? Can you see right there? You chose the word? Morbid. What? Say that again? Morbid. 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 Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Yes, indeed, she chose morbid. Yes. Morbid. Some of you don't look very impressed, though. You're like, Kristen, isn't that just the uh, cosmic randomness thing that you've been talking about? And yes, that is what I've been talking about. But there is this thing where human ingenuity comes into play. I'm going to hand this to you, too. Okay, so we all know here that, um, let's see, you just picked a word. You just picked morbid. Okay? And now, you thought of any place. You thought of any place, you just pictured it on that postcard, any place, and you thought of Boston. <laughs> now, again, we went for names. Names are the hardest thing. And Hannah thought of the name, but, but you thought of the name too. You thought of the name Cayenne, but that was wrong because Hannah chose Renee. <laughs> Thank you. I think, I think the cosmos is a very interesting